Hello people, welcome back. This time around, going through Act 7. Kinda lost myself here. Let's check out. As you should already know, there is no such a thing as thoroughly planning here. Just going with the flow, explaining um, as deep as you can. If this is your first time on the channel, I hope you are having a wonderful time. I hope you learned a thing or two. And uh, any questions or suggestions, write down below. Now, <clears throat> people, 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 we gotta get rid of these things here. They are pretty low level, so I think we can just run them very easily. And I don't have to do this, I forgot it's like this. Uh, if I had an explained so during this league, right? It's called Heist League. You will uh, randomly drop from mobs, wherever, in literally whatever area. Uh, other league mechanics tend to be a little more restrictive. Uh, so in whatever area you're going to drop with these rogue markers. Uh, to get here, uh, you need just to use a rogue marker in whatever place you are in the game. I think very few places are, is restricted for you to use, but if you're in the city or in your hideout, that's okay. And it opens a portal, you click it again in here. Uh, as recently changed by GGG, uh, the developer of this game, if you don't know, grinding your games, GGG, they uh, made that this area now, it's a private area. Uh, which means you won't find more people here. Yes, uh, this was meant to be a social hub. However, it uh, it's, it's not anymore because it was created some problems. Um, I'm going to do probably when we get to tier uh, to maps. I'm going to do a more a close uh, guide and a separated guide for heist, at least the basics of heist. But what we want to do here is uh, now we just talk to uh, Ataya, and because we have one contract from hers. Let's see here's uh, we can read in the second line there tips. So we have talked to tips. This one is Isla. We have to talk to Isla. It's the girl over there. Uh, we have to talk to Karst. It's the guy over there. Um, Adaya, Edia, I'm sure. This one. And then Faustus. So we talked to her. It activated. And now we can use her contract. I haven't talked to anybody else. So if I try to prepare a heist, which I can do with whatever contract I have, like this one that I found uh, somewhere in the game, I can just run it, assign the rogue. And that's it. Now, these uh, other contracts, uh, for example, tips. I can't initiate. Okay, talk it to tips then. My bad. Wait, let's get this one. This is Isla. Okay, maybe they have a change that. <laughs> but yeah, I think they have changed it. I don't have to talk to them anymore. Yeah. Uh, this is something that happens when you're talking about the, the league in the moment, especially this league. Uh, it has it has been the most troublesome league I have ever played, and I have uh, I would say I have decently or uh, played into end game or almost or very close to the end end game right. I, I've gone to maps in the last four leagues, but I've really played like into uh, farming red maps and everything. I think. In the last three leagues, and this one has been the most troublesome with this start, and a lot of things have been changed um, throughout these weeks. And I haven't been doing heists. What I know that before it used to be much more difficult for some things, and now the places uh, the heists give us more XP. The loot is not so easily targetable. Before you could target, which I'm not going to explain because you can't do it anymore. I might do something to explain a specific thing, but just further down the road. If you haven't been in a heist, uh, it goes like this. You're going to open the portal, you're going to get in here, you're going to go downstairs, yes, and then you're going to see the entire layout of the map. Now, Tibbs is here to help you, and he's the destroyer guy, he's going to break shit. So in here, there is a uh, door that he's, he can break or an obstacle that he can break so we can access this chest. But every time we open a chest, whatever chest it is, it increases our alert level. 
When the alert level reaches maximum, the place goes into lockdown and we have a limited amount of time to get to the last chest. Or when we get the last chest, this big one here, which is the, the, the reason why we are doing the heist, uh, as soon as we get that, uh, lockdown starts and we can't get other uh, chests. So there's a lot of creatures here defending. This is a level 20 something. I think I can't die here even if I face tank. Yeah, like even Tibbs is killing the guy. So, um, as of right now, the heist mechanic does not generate any sort of any form of uh, alert level when you kill or when you are perceived by guards. Only when you try to get a chest. So, if you mouse over, you can see that it appears there. So, if you click, it opens, generate that amount of alert level. Two crappy shit. I don't want that. Uh, I think we just want currency because the items from here are very low level. We are 22. We are level 50, I think. 52 already. Don't need that. Now here, this is the kind of things you need tips for. You can only press Z or just click there and it's gonna it's gonna open. I wanted to go here just to see if there is a chest. However, the chest, uh, this chest, look, they appear very far from you. So we can just like rush through. Everything, open the door, rush, 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 new obstacle thing here, and then can kill. Uh, during the during heist, you can't. Oh, he got stuck attacking people. Oh, okay, I didn't have this problems with this before. So, if it happens, just make sure to go back there. So, uh, where was I? Ah, okay. Uh, Tibbs is gonna break these doors here for us and uh, when we reach the maximum alert level and lockdown starts if we die we can't come back here and you can see that the loot has this little uh, lock beside it look it says contraband it means that if we die here now the items drop we go back we can re-enter the portal that's good if lockdown starts and we die we can't go back and we'll lose every item that we had picked up in here. So keep that in mind if you're uh, trying to do something. Okay, well, I don't have anything on my. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. My flask's not road. Mm, yeah, essence is the best thing we could get in here. I should just be rushing this, I shouldn't be trying to do full cleaning. Something that they changed in the heist recently, if you haven't checked other uh, people. It's uh, in between the areas here, there is no doors anymore, right? So you can see that I would just go through, walk through, walk through, just walk, just walk, just, okay, a lot of people there. Uh, this is, uh, this is what happens. This door here was developed or was programmed to be sealed and then uh, tips would break in. And then you, you remember there was this uh, scourge, 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 a bunch of people <laughs> waiting here to attack, right? Uh, when this was the case before, uh, when he broke into or uh, one of your rogues just unlocked the door for us, we would we could get through and just dash, just run. Now uh, the door is just opened, so we have to be careful when we get through. I don't know if they have... Uh, no, they still have. Did you see? They don't attack. If you literally don't stop, if you just rush through, they don't start attacking. They have a little a little delay there. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't really know. And the song, the song. Let's increase this a little here. Okay, I think you couldn't listen. It's quite an amazing uh, track here. I think my internet right now? No, okay, it's just a little, a little misclicking there. Okay, now, okay, we did one contract uh, just to enhance the idea here for people. We are, what? Max level? What the fuck, what happened? Why is this max level? What the fuck? Okay, that's a big bug. <laughs> That's a big bug. <laughs> she, she looks like level 5. Holy shit, hashtag bug. I mean, uh, under slash bug. 
under slash forward slash Jesus Christ. English come to me. She's not level 5, it doesn't matter. The only restrictions with levels there is what contracts you can do with what people. That's that's what it is. And uh, let's go. Let's go again. New one. Uh, I have to uh, reset my mouse for drinking to my home and doing this. Superior, superior, superior. If I haven't said before, whatever item that drops on the floor and it has the name superior be, uh, at the beginning of it. Wow, the... Jesus Christ! They increased the speed of her cast a lot. Like, look this. One, two, three. Holy moly. Oh, that's nice. Holy shit. That, that was a lot of alarm. Okay. Um, okay, card here. We, we can get one of these one now. Uh, oh, we just have these two areas here. Oh, that's okay. Mm, no, move. Uh, one of the things that uh, I was talking before is look how many things we've dropped, how many orbs we've dropped. Uh, that I said on the other videos is that I was trying not to do the league mechanic. Because the league mechanic is always very profitable. But let's imagine that you are the unluckiest person on earth. You will still have a better time. You will still find a better gear. Let's see this. Ooh. You will still find better gear than what I found on this run. I literally went all the way to this Act 7. We are in Act 7. Yes, we just started Act 7. Uh, we literally, uh, what is the name of that, got like the worst one possible. Uh, a shield that's now decent, but that's just defense, there's nothing offensive there. We just need two good stats for having a good offensive uh, item or build. And it's uh, Chaos Damage Over Time Multiplier, whenever, wherever you can find that. If it's in your, I think you can find in gloves early game. So it's gotta be on the ones, uh, or what is the name of that? Uh, plus one to all chaos gems. These are the two things you should be. Oh, okay, never mind. These are the two things you should be trying to acquire. If now I had a one with plus one chaos to all, plus one to all chaos gems, or Case damage mode time uh, over time multiplier. Holy moly, we would deal like insane amounts of damage. Insane amounts of damage. So let's sell. I don't. Do I want this? Oh, increase the area of effect. That's good for leveling up a melee character. After we're gonna be doing that, and as I said previously, the next characters look plus one shocked at. Uh, bow jumps. This one is a little, it's worse than we, we said because this one they have to be socketed in the bow. So this is a level 22. I think I can't even make it a, um, a four link. I can only make it a three link. Let's see if I can find this out here for you. No, it doesn't say here. Okay. There is an app I use it to use, which is a uh, macro which tells you this kind of information, but I haven't been using that. Ooh, plus 32 men. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ, I forgot about this one. So, highest drops, uh, this is very important for crafting. Highest drops these items. You can see that beside the name there, it has a little symbol. That's the synthesized symbol, which means that one of the stats of the item, when it is generated by the game, will be in that color there, and that will never change. You will never re-roll that. So, you can just roll the item with in some form, using some currency, uh, till you get other good uh, affixes and prefixes. I mean, prefix and suffixes. And uh, what happens is, this one is a bad one, because it's tied to mana. I don't need mana, right? Uh, I want to do a build like this with a lot of mana, to do a mind of a matter build, uh, to be more defensive. 
but it's not what we are doing or what we are going to do now. And uh, if you can find one of these, like I found on my build, and that's why I feel a little bad not playing the build, uh, and I haven't played since the first video I made for YouTube. <clears throat> it's uh, I got I think a two one life or two two life ring like this, and that's like basically an amazing one. And then I I I crafted something in it, and it got like a double T uh, three res I think, uh, with an open suffix. So it's a triple suffix item with a implicit of uh, like this is of a two stone ring. So it's more uh, sixteen uh, extra thirty two right because it's sixteen to fire and sixteen to cold rest. Then T one life and uh, it had uh, I think strength in it. So it's like holy fuck. Oh, but this ring is bad. It's just mana there. Okay, sell it. There's nothing else you can do with it. If you are playing in the trade league, try checking the market. But probably what is going to be good is going to be like life, T2, uh, T3, T2, T1 life. I think T3 you can craft on the bank, so people don't really want to. But sometimes people buy for one chaos. Uh, if you are farming, like if you're trying to make one trade chaos, uh, one chaos trades, it's okay. Here, nothing good. No. This ring. Oh, this ring. We want this. We want for a different build that maybe we won't be able to play on this link but I'm gonna keep it in case we need Ugh. horrible Ooh. okay and this one overwhelm 2% physical damage reduction I don't remember reading this overwhelm before Oh, okay, you overwhelm the enemy. Wow. Oh, increased life. Oh, that's nice. Projectile, increased damage with staves. Mm. Okay. And, uh, no. And, okay, keep it. <clears throat> Do -do -do. I should... Uh, okay. And now I place it there, but I wanted to, to do it like a different tab here. Just with the the items of this uh, of these rents, which are stupidly uh, low level, All right? We had some currency from here, but we're just gonna ignore that one, All right? Uh, get in here. Uh, Eighteen cars. Let's go. <clears throat> Holy moly! A lot of people. This way, yeah. Smuggler's Den. Is this the one where nobody attacks? No. I like that one. No. Okay. This level 18. Ah, it's a very short one. If you, you technically could just open the chests and after get them, but when lockdown starts, there will be, there will be infinite people uh, coming your way. And in this game, if you stand still, chances to die are big, it's a big time, big time chance, so avoid doing that. I thought this would happen. Have to open this one. Then I have to open this one. Because when I get this chest here, it's gonna go uh, into lockdown timer and then I have time to go to the other side. One thing too, some chests you have to to ask him to do it. If you don't have much time, you can like be like close to the door, you open, just move. Ah, it didn't it didn't proc. Okay. Engineer's orb, yeah. Look, first we go orb we got. This leg mechanic is so profitable. It's so friendly for solo cell found things. It's like, can I? Damn it! Can I get that? Thank you. Okay. 
one more here. Uh, something very interesting, I think as I said on the other part, it's there isn't uh, these many doors for him to lock in, uh, to unlock anymore. So heists feel much more smooth. They feel much more, much faster, which before was like a pain in the ass. Oh, they are attacking before? Yeah, they attacked a little before there. It's kind of weird. Okay, it's good. One more heist. It's good. I think I have to talk to Tibbs, right, and Karst, because I want to deliver this thing here. You can listen to his story. The stories are amazing. I've heard of these stories when I started playing the league, and I know part of this story already. So I'm not going to listen to it again. Maybe after we do like a more hour session. Uh, I want to check you, 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 and why am I doing this at the thing that I don't know? Right? Right? No. No. Okay. Look, all the currency on a level eighteen. Look. Ah, the, oh Jesus Christ! I put it here again. Okay. Uh, when I edit the video, probably I'm gonna. Uh, do something about it, and then I can play. I can place a total of like currency acquired into five quest contracts, uh, and I could have done this when I was uh, leveling up. I just didn't want to. Let's go. We go here. Okay, here. This is 31. Okay, maybe there is something good here. Could you please? Thank you. Okay. Ah. Eight fucking chromatics. What the hell? Eight chromatics at once? Wow. Wow. If you do wanted to make some uh, rewarding league mechanic without a what is the name? Uh, explosion loot. They did it. But I gotta be fair, if all of these chests were one pop, this is a, a nice explosion, a nice loot explosion. <clears throat> what happens also, our guys are low level, they have no equipment, and the equipment for the rogues you can only drop in this league. Uh, and if I'm not wrong, this is the first league that you have a companion that you can equip. And. Uh, the only place you can find equipment for them is in here. So now what happens? When I open, it's gonna go. Oh, okay, that's an open door. Look, 26. You can take your time. I think I've never seen this one before. You can take your time, 90 seconds. Do the thing here. Da -da. Let's go. Now, if we die, bye bye. And we do have some good shit now. So, be moving. But there is nothing on my screen yet, Yakui. What can we do? Uh, keep on moving. Pop flasks, dash through. Don't hesitate. Dash through. Dash. Pop flasks. Contagion. As a strain. Dash through. Watch out. Watch out. Here, Z. Uh, Z is my leg mechanic button. You can be whatever button you want. You want. Oh, he's taking a long time. So all the equipments. The equipments uh, can. Oof. Okay, I thought I would die there. I don't know why it took me a while to dash. Um, the equipments make your rogues uh, do their action a little faster, depending on what you craft on, on them. And it uh, and it what is the name? Uh, in like reduce alert level, increased uh, lockdown time, uh, all of this, all of good stuff. All good stuff. 
So one more, Faustus. This is a level 45. This is a little dangerous. Not much, a little. So we got Endless Misery. Ah, it's a Discharge one. What? It's less area, it's less... No, oh, 60% less damage, are you fucking crazy? Is it any good? I think I've never dropped this one. I don't even know if it existed before. So, here, 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 here. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, nothing here. Let me deliver Isla, her thing here. Let's talk to Faustus. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Wait a second. Shh. Mm. Open suffix? No. 50 life. 30 res plus 15. No, that's better. So life. Uh, still prefer mine. Because if I change one of my rings now for something that is not totally superior. I'm gonna have to rebalance what enchantments I have, uh, what crafts of resistance I have. One like uh, this one here, like this X75 res there. There is a 25 res there. There's 19 cold res there. This is based on the on the exact amounts I have. So, oh, here's the mansion. Let's go. Let's see. So something I wanted to say. Look. This is a level 45, they are 7 levels under. And something you notice with uh, this league mechanic is that the creatures on the league mechanic are very strong. They deal good amount of damage, they are much tankier than their counterparts. And this is a quest heist, which means it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have like damage mods to increase the mods uh, to increase the damage of the mobs in the area. Look. We are not that weak, you know. We could be a little stronger. Sure. Yeah, we have to do the full combo for them. I don't know why I'm getting a talisman here. Uh, kind of stupid. I open them here, I'm gonna get it. Talismans? A uh, talisman was a is an old uh, league with something with a league mechanic, which is uh, these things quite outdated. And uh, oh, Jesus Christ! Wait a sec. Bye bye. Bye bye. Look, five link it. I forgot to talk about this one. This link mechanic, I don't know why, but it drops a lot of five links for me. Uh, I haven't, I think I haven't ever, oh, this rogue sharpening stone. So this is one of the equipments we can use to equip our rogues. It's a very low level one, so. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Uh, so as I was talking about talisman, uh, it is a league mechanic. Uh, it was a league mechanic, and they had these amulets, which they always come corrupted, and they always. Uh, I think now they come with an anointed point, which is something nice. It's like the bonus they have added to this league. I think. Let's see, it doesn't say here. Maybe the higher tier ones do that. And the thing is, uh, they are corrupted amulets with random stats. So basically they are an amulet that comes with an corrupted implicit. Like this one is increased global physical damage. Hmm, not bad. But that's the first line. Look at the others. Increased cold damage, 30 life, maximum mana, and life gain on kill. Like shitty. You could potentially get one. Which were like, I don't know, 30% increased global physical damage, and high life, and 
triple res and but that's so unlikely to happen a 20% increased maximum mana that's a good prefix for an amulet if you need mana but mm, that's that's only that's whatever he has 50% of fire damage uh, from hits taken as cold damage this is a nice one I thought it could be fire to cold ah yeah it's fire to cold to light no it's lightning to fire to cold am I right I forgot there is a conversion thing that you cannot uh, break yeah shitty ones I think in my whole in uh, considering all the leagues I have played I have got like four talismans which were decent and I were like during the leveling process five linked ones so if we start a new character now a melee character which uses an axe we have a six link because it has a soft the gems are supported by level 20 increased area effect kind of nice no shit this I wanna keep this I wanna sell this I wanna sell 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 that's it Okay. I was hoping we would get like a 5 link chest. That was my expectation. Okay. Uh, leave this here and here. Okay, now our inventory is free. We can talk to the gondolier and go to Act 7. Let's go. In Act 7, we are going to do something. Uh, first of all, I want to get you. I want to make you magic. Freezing choke. This gives me a chance. Fuck, I don't know. I think this one cannot roll what I want. How can I f let me find this out? Uh, weak silver flask. Okay, it's alchemists. Okay, alchemists. Uh, quick silver flask of adrenaline. That's the one we want. Yes, alchemists. That is item level twenty. So, people, what did I do? Let me let me change the camera here to show you. What happened is I went to the website. I went uh, to Google, and I just put quick silver flask of adrenaline. Just because I wanted this page here, which is the Quicksilver Flask page on uh, PoE Wiki. And uh, it tells you where you get those, which we're gonna get one. Uh, we got one in Act 5, in fact. I think we didn't get this one, we, we changed it for something else. Uh, and what happens is, it's gonna show you the modifiers that you can have on this flask. Uh, and it says here, the name that it gets on the item, uh, the type, if it's a prefix or a suffix, and the item level. So what we want is a quick silver flask, an alchemist quick silver flask. So let's see, alchemist, alchemists here. It's a prefix, and it gives. Uh, it requires item level twenty. But the one I want to change, I wanted to change this one. It's item level three, and the other one is item level four. Holy moly! Quick silver flask. Item level forty. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's right. Okay. So we're going to do with this one. We're going to try to roll this one. It's very difficult to roll, but we're going to just try to roll something decent. We want an alchemist, which is reduced duration but increased effect. And uh, adrenaline, which is a suffix and it grips increasing movement speed during flask effect. But this is a flask that gives us speed. So it will give us extra speed. And we'll increase the effect of the speed we're receiving. Which means we, we just run. Like run through. Uh, mindlessly walk through content. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be going through alterations. Immune to curses is good. We could keep this one. Don't really want to. Oh my heart, my heart, my heart. Additional elemental resistance, increase the effect, but reduce the duration. I think we could keep this one. 
because it's a nice speed. So this one has immune to freeze. So immune to freeze. Uh, this is a very nice one for a Jade Flask for us. Uh, ah no, it should be increased the effect and reduce the duration, right? Eh, it works as well too. Immune to Ignite. And immune to Bleeding. One, two, three, four. So it should be this one here. No, it should be this one. Yes. I'm gonna go with this one. Just because it's gonna give us more speed than this one. And I'm just going to use this one to remove Ignite. That's my idea. So just when I need it. We could roll more, but we really don't have alterations to do that. So dump everything else. Remember, don't have to talk to people to get quests. I just want to check the vendors. Uh, Omen? No, it's not the one I want. No, 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 no. I want a four link. Oh, wait. A four link boot. That's what I want. <laughs> no! Give me a four link at boot, please. I want a four link at boot. In fact, I think we don't really know four link at boot anymore. We have all the, all the things we have already. So let's go. Now here we just this act. Consider we starting this act now, right? So this is 1949. Let's see. We're just gonna like literally mold through things right now. Uh, we need to do something here. Wait, we need to find a castle. It's a little off the road. This castle could be on the right of the entrance. Uh, on this side after the turn. Oh, it's here. Uh, so it could be on this side here after that turn or on the south side of the, the road when we get on this stretch here. Uh, I don't even remember where we're going. I think we're going here, right? To get these things here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go that way because I want to take some defensive nodes there. Not really my style, but I just want to die the least I can. During oh man, it's kind of a preparation for hardcore. I kind of want to play hardcore this league, but after doing a double league start like I'm doing now, I uh, kind of don't want to do that. So we got that. We can just rush through. This area is level fifty. We are fifty-three. Uh, this act, the last acts tend to be faster because you're not changing gear, you're not waiting for gems, you have your flasks, you're not like changing your equipments so often. Uh, in, in my opinion, they tend to be shorter. I'm gonna see this one, we get the A point here. The A point, the ooh, here, nice. We got one more Nico. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's nice, okay. So now we're gonna have to explore this area. Because we need to find the three nodes and we don't want this map to expire with all the nodes within it. Contagion, nice and strain, contagion, nice and strain, contagion, nice and strain. Holy moly! Look, 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 look. look. It's so nice when it's when it's pressed like this. Oh, a molten strike one. Okay, second note. Where's the other one, for God's sake? What I want to do is this. It's a little cheesy, but... It's me. But 
Watch out. A rose mark, okay. Where the hell? The fuck? What? Is it here? And I didn't see when I when I got it. Yeah. Fuck. Damn it. It was here all along. I can't believe. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something I've never done because I have to run this area like this. Uh, we're gonna same thing as we do in Act Two, right? Because this is the the Act Two with, but in different part of the story. We literally just gonna rush through this uh, paved thing. Oh, uh, we have one more thing here. We have Alva. I don't really wanna explain Alva now. This is gonna take a, a little long time. We're gonna just talk about her, but I'm not gonna do her. So the thing with Alva, it's another big mechanic, and it's an old mechanic. Uh, not an old mechanic, but you know, it's a previous mechanic. And the way it goes, it's like uh, during the when you find her, she will there will be three Alvas on the on the map you on the place you are, and you talk to her and she will tell you about a pyramid which she's trying to find. The Lost Temple of Atsuwaro. And whenever she tells you that she found a way to get there, and you will have always a choice to make. It, she will give you, she will show you like a, a big room with two sides, and like in one side you can kill the boss in that area. Uh, it's like a mini boss, like unique. To get the to improve the room that she found, or to change that to another room. Only of a mechanic would take like an entire hour thing to explain everything. I don't really know everything about her, but I know all the basics for, necessary for you to run that. And the thing works like this. Uh, okay, so we go back to the city to get our portal there. Uh, what happens is. You will talk to her, and then you will look, oh, okay, I can change for this room or for this room. Then you enter, and when you enter, you have a very limited amount of time. You have to kill the things in the area very fast. Our build is perfect for that. We have to kill things very fast, and whenever we kill a thing, it gives us a little time. And the, the faster they die, like from each other, the more time you get, there is sort of a time limit, but if your build can decently clear the area you are in, you shouldn't have problems with that. Uh, as long as the game doesn't troll you and like puts all the, the creatures in a single room, and then you don't find it on time. That, that, this may happen. And if this happens, it's okay. You use it one of the incursions, and you didn't change that room in that opportunity, but if that same room appear again for you, uh, in the future, you can change it. There is no consequences to that. And you have, I think, nine incursions to finish the temple, and then she tells you where the temple is, and you go there and you raid the temple. And the temple is a gigantic, enormous map, which you will explore. And the rooms in it, and the, the accessible rooms in it, are the rooms you have accessed uh, and created connections, right? Uh, before, uh, during the, these incursions. It's a little complicated, it's much easier when you play it. Well, let's go. Okay. Now here what we're doing, we want a map. We want the Maligaro map. We want to kill Maligaro again. So we need to rush here. Here there are two things. Uh, there is a Ascendancy Trial, which we could do already. Because if, if you... Jesus Christ! If you remember, the first uh, six Ascendancy Trials we bought got us, transformed us into a Trickster and gave us access to the Trickster Tree Ascendancy. Now what we want to do is we want to get the other Ascendancy things, which uh, 
will give us more points that we can spend within the ascendancy tree, uh, within the tricks the tree, and to get that we need three labyrinth trials from the second part of the story. I think this should be like the second one. For us. Okay. Now what we want to do here is said I want to go a little defensive, right? So I came up here. I could get just get life, like flat life. But I don't have much life in my equipments. I think three things have life. So for me to get 5% increase of life now won't be that much more defensive. What we want to get is chance to block. And this here. And then this here, which is more spell damage and chance to block. And then this here, which is more spell chance and chance to block. And we already got this one here. And then we should be pretty much good to go. Uh, then we could expand our life getting this wheel here with evasion and life. And this here with energy shield and life. Usually I don't get this one. Uh, and after that, we're going to go through the life here, go up here and get these nodes here. And then we can use, we can either use this one here. To open our tree and get uh, a jewel, a large jewel from delirium and expand here. Uh, or before that, or if we don't have, and it's very common we don't have, uh, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna get this life in Chaos Rest, we're gonna go down, we're gonna get this jewel socket, we're gonna continue to go down, we're gonna get this life here, and then enter here, get here, and we get these points here for more defensive things. If we don't want to, and this should be like level 90 already, 95 maybe, to, to finish doing this thing here. Uh, we're going to respect these points here after. And uh, if we want these points here, but kind of doesn't make much sense. Like the increase of damage is okay because it's not going to be much. Uh, but the life one, like you literally can't make this more efficient. The most more efficient thing is like you take these two points here, take these two points from here and go here. But then you're gonna lose 20% increase in chaos damage, so much. But then you get two points on the tree, which could be like, in this case, going here and uh, here already. Doesn't look much, but two points go a long way. Uh, let's go here. Here, Jesus Christ, okay. Something that would be very nice for us now, it's getting a Vault Blight. I think I've never been so long, uh, it's never been this long for me without a Vault Blight. Because when we went through these creatures here, we would just activate Vault Blight and dash through, and it would apply bite Blight to everybody, and then I wouldn't even need to have to worry, just wait for them to die. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Here is a vault thing. I really want to do that. But before this, I want to do. Ah, I didn't go here. Get this container of scenes, Maligado's map. Let's go. I don't know if you notice, but I don't have a life flask. But you, you, you can have a life flask, please. Uh, it is just that after you get these two points here, you get so much life. So as long as you're not one shot, you're you will be killing stuff, and your life will be constantly recovering. Can I dash through, please? Bye bye. A very interesting thing is whenever we click this vol vessel, whatever vol vessel it is, there is a chance that a corrupted item will become six linked. But they usually have off colors, which means that if it is an int based uh, armor, it will tend to have more red and more greens than blues. Uh, even sometimes not even a single blue. And uh, this can be tough sometimes. Because like you get a six link and you can't use. Which is the case of my character. I got like many six links, which I couldn't use. It's like no. 
Why have you forsaken me? You are in Jesus. Now it's when we get uh, quartz flask. Uh, I feel so happy now. What happens with quartz flask? It gives us more chance to dodge, attacks and spells, and it gives us phasing. And when we have phasing, we walk through people. Some people don't like quartz flasks. I like them a lot uh, because I use it to play on uh, what is the name of that? On the predictive mode, which uh, sometimes you would in the server you would collide with a creature, but in your client because it's slower because it's a laggy internet, it hasn't rendered the mob or the mob in your screen hasn't walked to that place and blocked you. So in your game you go. But in the server you don't. And then there's this weird interference. Until the game resync it itself, it, it takes a long time. Uh, this is the entire reason of the predictive mode. It's because here, in your house, you feel that you're playing something smoother. But then you would uh, press like uh, out of sync, like slash OOS. Uh, and then you would be back there. Now what happens? If you're using Quartz Flask, there is no collision. And then the chance of this happening is, if you have phasing during any blocking moment, it just it, it is ignored. <clears throat> so I just use it in every build I had, especially for delving, because we tend to get into some weird uh, places. Oh, Jesus Christ. I kind of want to risk with this one, because it's a carnal boot. Carnal boot, it's nice. I'm stupid, I've been spending all my currency trying to get a four link with this shit. I can't even use it. Why that's decently important? Because I can free my chest? Or my helm? And uh, or just put my orders here, right? I like it to be for Link. Because I can do I can do all of these things and now what we can do is we can uh, We're gonna wait For a more decent essence and then we're gonna craft it So here here uh, Superior quartz flask. I don't want to change this now. I'm just gonna place it here uh, And for the quartz I want to identify it And I do want to roll it Okay Remove Zignite. Uh, that's decent. Increased effect, reduce the duration. It's not really what I want from this flask. The Ignite's good. Uh, uh, now, what we're gonna do is... I think I'm gonna do like this. Yeah, because when I press it like this, and my pinky is always on the on the apostrophe button. So okay, I'm gonna do like that. Uh, this one's gonna wait in here for a while. Oh, I got two more. Oh she. Oh, I got the fox one. Thanks for the fox, right? Where did I drop the fox? Please let me know. Future, future self. But it's just a level 20, right? Because I think this drops quite a lot. I think this is dropping quite a lot. Uh, let's keep... Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to clip all the, keep all the flasks I've rolled in a separated stash tab. Because in the future, depending on, a, on the situation, you you might want a very specific flask you have rolled before. And in the, you don't want to just be re-rolling, you know? In the, in the ideal, perfect world, uh, for me, in my opinion, I would have a Quicksilver flask, uh, an Alchemist Quicksilver flask. I would have one with curses. I would have anti-curse, right? One with anti-bleeding and anti-freeze and all of them. 
And then depending on the situation I am or in the map I'm doing, I'm going to have to change my flasks. That, most people don't like this micromanagement thing, but it's something that it's possible to do, you know? Like the game allows you to do that, but sometimes if you're rushing many things or you're doing trying to play the game too fast, you kind of don't want to do that. And it's... We back, people. Life. Life stuff. Life happens. Okay. So, uh, let me explain this. I don't think I have explained before, right? So, we got the Maligaro map, and this is basically how maps work. I'm gonna go back here. I could have just opened a different portal, okay? So, this is endgame. You get a map, you place the map on the map uh, device, you activate, it generates one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six portals. So, we have six, ch six chances. I left the portal, and the one I used here, it's closed now. But I can get another one. And when I enter, look, I doesn't do the animation. It's, it closes. It consumes the portal. During this quest, if you fail, you can just get the map again. Or if you don't need to get the map again, you just uh, place it again there. And it will open other portals, because this is a quest. But in the end game, that's it. You lost the, the, the portal. You lost the, the map. You need another map, and you're going to run another map. Uh, you basically can't run out of maps anymore in the game, but uh, it's a little... It is not difficult, it's not impossible, but it requires some understanding on how to get higher maps, higher tier maps, which increase the difficulty, but increase uh, the rewards as well. Uh, but you, there will never be a map in which you're going to just drop exotics, like unless you are playing with a team of six people with... Uh, full equipped gear, I mean, fu uh, full MF gear, basically like Imperial lifestyle. But that's that's surreal for most humans, okay? So forget about that. Uh, it's possible, it can be done. Requires a lot of people, requires a lot of synchronization, a lot of patience, people that work with builds that work with each other, and that's difficult, not impossible. So in here, what we want to do is we want to get to Maligaro and kill him. The way to do this is there is three blocks of this. You just need to go all around the, the outskirts of it and find the this little wood passage. And now just keep going. Try to find the next. And keep moving. Opa, go back. Uh, at this time of the game, I always go back for armor scraps. Uh, always, always go back. Transmutation, armor scraps. The scrolls of wisdom we can officially take off our filter, but I want to do a different video about filter. Maybe do one uh, for like not an episode for the series, just an episode separately uh, about filters. And I want to do for everything else you need for the game, like PoE overlay, which you can't see now unless I do this. Oh, it is like this right now. Okay. If I do like this, let me identify this item. I'm gonna press a button here. And this searches in the market for an item with these features. A, uh, and it tells you a possible answer, uh, a possible value of the item. That's what it does. As any other map, it has mechanics in it. This is a new one, I think, for us. I don't think I have explained this before. This is Abyss. Abyss, uh, you will walk over this green point. It will be stopped there on the map. And then it will just start walking. Uh, just going through the ground, opening the ground, look, and summoning some things. Don't worry about these things. Just when it stops. When it stops, you have to kill everything that it summons. It's technically not everything. It's a specific monster. And then it will close and keep on moving. There are some instances and some little differences between one things and others with this, uh, which I will try to explain as they occur. Uh, so let's try to kill everything here. Uh, that's a very, this is a very easy mechanic for us to do, because the creatures are all clumped uh, up one to each other. And what happens here is uh, usually these three uh, things, like 
you move, uh, you touch it, it moves, it stops, you kill, it moves, it stops, you kill, it moves, it stops, you kill, and then it shows you the abyssal trails, which you can open, and things drop from. It will always drop a hypnotic eye jewel, uh, not the hypnotic eye jewel, but one eye jewel. There are three or four. It's the searching, it's the hypnotic. I don't remember the others. These just tell what kind of mods they have. Yeah, this one I think is more the spell one. One is more minions one, and the other it's uh, damage focused, which I think is this one here. Or is the searching? I don't remember. Uh, one of the other instances, let's say, of this, one of the other possibilities when you activate is that it will move, 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 sometimes very long, and it you will kill once and it will open a portal. And then you will enter into the Abyssal Depths, I think it's called the place, and then you have to explore this little map, uh, which at the end there will be just a gigantic cocoon which will summon things not gigantic but a big cocoon which will generate things it will kill and it will always drop a stygian vice belt stygian vice belt is a belt that it's implicit is a, a socket and then you can socket a searching eye jewel there so it's a way to get like one more big stat some uh builds use other equipment such as gloves boots helms chests and belts that you can place searching uh, searching eye jewels or you can place eye jewels there yes and this is a big not big but if you put like six eye jewels in a, in a build like just on the equipment that's a lot of extra damage usually people do this for uh, magic finding gear ma magic finding characters <clears throat> here here it is so Maligara's workshop if you enter here and you die, or wherever you die here, you're gonna go back to the portal, which is on the on the start. But you can always open a portal here. So here, Maligaro. So be aware of his fight. This is his jump movement. Whenever he does that, just move away. He's gonna summon one thing here. We're gonna cast. I just casted Bane. Okay, let's see. Okay, Bane is not enough. Bane and Essence Strain. That. Yeah, he will be like ghosting us. Oh, look, don't be hit by this. I think it can kill us. This one, very long wind up cast there, so be careful. This one is basic fidelitas. Remember fidelitas? Right? Okay. Oh, he'll always be there. Now that I'm like trying to explain, okay, this is a Dumb, not dumb, but a, a stupid move of him. You can, you have just to move, like, a lot, not to be hit by that. We got the black venom. We got one more pantheon, which means that uh, with this venom, we can give this venom to this bitch over here. He's a spoiler. He's he's a traitor. And uh, the same as in the other, in the other. What is the name? In the other act, in Act 2, when you get to the Chamber of Sins level 1, the way this room here has four exits. This waypoint always points to the right direction for the next level. <laughs> then with the poison, it uh, removes this thing and we can get through. We want to do this because when we went to the plains here, sorry, when we got to the crossroads, we couldn't cross all the way here. Uh, where it would be, where it would be, I'm sorry, uh, the city from Act 2, if you remember correctly, like Act 2, right there, there's the city. Uh, so we have to make the way, a way around. So we go back here, and now what we want to do is we want to go to where we found Maligaro for the first time. No, Fidelitas, I'm sorry. And let's go there, let's try to find Fidelitas. The same thing, He's, he, will, he will not be there, but if there is the place we want to go. So, Jesus Christ, I am just like the opposite of nailing the, the map reading here. To be fair, oh, here, one more. 
Oh, there is one more ascendancy trial here, which uh, we should get. But let me tell you something. If you, oh Jesus Christ! Uh, if you don't kill the creatures that it summons in time, uh, there is a hideout here. Uh, this the the creatures that it summons. If you don't kill it in time, it fails and then you don't get the chest at the end. So here, just two. Got it. Markers, ghastly eye jewel, search and eye jewel. Hypnotic eye jewel. Uh, there's many creatures here, but I thought I had this. I think I have this hideout already. Let's kill. No. Maybe I didn't have this hideout before. Okay, now I have. That's it. <laughs> if you listen to this sound now, I will try to enhance it. It's when you lose charges. For each charge, there is a specific sound, but they are very similar one to each other. Uh, here again, there, you don't need to to push this uh, levers there. Just have to go here. Me. Me. You can get a lever. Just open this door and facilitate for somebody else to go through. Oh no, no, not not fast enough. Crafting recipe, mana regen. Ugh. Jesus, so many creatures. Wow. Like a lot of XP. Now here. This is the last one, and then we could ascend. I think we can ascend exactly at level 55. But we don't again the sound. But we don't want to ascend at 55. We always want to be a little over the level because we don't want to just walk there and then die for it. And then have to walk everything again. Uh, so we want to get this one. Uh, mana regen, 1% chance to block spell damage. 1% increased mana regeneration rate per 1% chance to block spell damage. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, that's okay. Uh, this is a nice one. If And this is why I want to do a mana stacking... Essence, Drain, Mine Over, Matter Build. <laughs> That's a big one. Try, try saying that three times fast. Okay, let's go. Uh, more of a build talk there, right? Let's go. Go, go, go. Do, 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 do. Okay, we are on the way. I'm gonna go here, here, and then. So if you're using a bow build, if I'm not wrong, you can't do here, but you can do something this way. Which you can cross this thing here, but it has to be a bow build. Uh, I believe it was a bug, but I could do it. But this is the kind of bug of like this is the kind of bug. I'm sorry, that uh, it, it's okay. It's just a movement bug. It's not anything's gonna get you banned. It's just that I think it wasn't intended for you to be able to dash there, but it's just a dash. It just gets you some seconds. Now here I have a lot of things. I want to go back to the city. I want to sell the items. Um, oh no, you. 50 life, gritted cold damage, lightning damage attack speed. Why? Oh, why? I think this would be a... If it was cast speed, it would be the perfect one for the Divine Ire. Which is I think the one I'm going to do for Templar. I really enjoy the Divine Ire. 20% move speed. Oh, I really want that. No. No. Why so difficult? Chaos damage over time multiplier. Uh. Whoa, wait, wait. T3 life. One, two, eh. rest. It's more rest than what than the one I have. It loses a little in lightning. A little, but it has more fire. It has 60 life, but there's no sockets. I wanna use this one. I wanna wear this one. But I have to make it for link. Or I can change my boots. But then I, I need a four. Mm. Mm, okay. Let me try to do this. Oh. I forgot we got a four link here. 
we kind of wanted this boot here. Oh no, I'm gonna have to change for a four blue. I always prefer evasion and energy shield than just energy shield because evasion I can transform in the shield after, and uh, energy shield is just energy shield. It's just life. And dodging, it's like if you dodge an attack, it is just like ignore the damage. And it should or life is just to tank the damage that you have already taken. You should always try to not take the damage. God bless us. That's so bad. Did I get a better essence? No. One. I used the one to make it four socket. Oh yes, baby. Woof. Okay. Uh, why did I change here? Because this is straight up better. It's more life. Ah, this one has trigger order of reflection. No. That's a such. That is a. That's a such that is a that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything that's such a good enchantment for the gloves okay I'm gonna start doing something that I didn't do before which is this one what I have worn. Uh, this is just to show my walkthrough equipments. I was doing this on my other build and I can show you all the items I have worn before getting to where I was and showing the the shit gear. I was kind of doing this because I didn't know what to do for... Oh, 6%. I didn't know what to do for this um, for YouTube. I wanted to do something for YouTube, but I didn't know what exactly. Uh, let's try to get a prophecy. Golden Touch, Hunter's Lesson, the Brother of Necromancy, the Stockkeeper. What is this? Ah, it's the Stockkeeper. Okay. In the green gate. I think I've never seen this one before. Okay, from that spring leaf. Okay. This one they just have a chance to happen whenever you open a map, so Pantheon, uh, we have three Pantheons now. We have this one, which is nice. Yeah, we're gonna use the, the one. Now we go to the den, we go back to the den. And we move. Wow. I love when this starts happening. I didn't cast the thing. Or I missed it, maybe. Let's go. Here we're going to be killing the... Uh, we're gonna be killing a this mob here, the Great White Bones, which is one we've killed before. If, if you remember the story, but the idea is that we just rush through, and it's like an U, like this usually. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if we take the time I played here, because I know that if you are observed in the time there, it's much more. And I talked about some things. You drink, they act very fast. I'm just stopping to talk about a lot of shit. Uh, or important things, I would say. 
Let's go in here. What the hell? Lol. I'm so. Jesus! Am I stupid? Of course, but. I can't hit the guy. Here's one more boss. Groot. Groot. Oh, oh wait. This do a kind of damage, which I don't know what, what is. I can try tanking it to see what happens. So here's the dog. Mm, I think it's a bleeding thing. Let's see. I think you block it. I didn't see. Here's the boy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Seriously? Oh man. Look how much life he has. <laughs> the fuck. Bye bye, mister. Northern forest. Now, what are we gonna be doing? We are going to. Uh, we need to find a place here on the left. Something in the middle. And then the, the exit to the right. So, what I usually do is I get this way here. Oh, Regal Lord. Nice. Can I fucking move? Thank you. Uh, what I want to do here is just go this way. Have I killed shit at all? Oh, I've never seen this unit here before. Oh, I didn't know. Oh my god. Okay. I am... Okay. This is one of the things I wanted to find. Okay. If we found this one, we just go to the city. We talk to Elena, I think. Who is the person? Uh... Selena, right? Yes, we get this. We go back there. This is usually a pain in the butt to find. Uh, and we activate the shrine. And we can talk to Elena. I, uh, as far as I know, we don't have to kill here. But there is usually some rare monsters, so why not? That's it, bye bye. Now the exit should be this way. And well, let's check. I didn't want to find the, the exit. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. This is not the exit. This is the dread thicket. This is what uh, we wanted to find. And now we have to kind of cartograph the the shit out of this this area here, uh, because we need to find the fireflies, because we're gonna need it for the next part to get the last boss. I think there are seven. I never remember. Okay, we are very lucky. There were two there. There is one, two. Oh, Jesus Christ! So the place they are is always random. It's never this fast. Look at this. Wow! Uh, and you need to find the den of despair to kill this beautiful baby. He always does this groaning thing here, so just land the basic things and then cast Blight till he's, he's dead. Oh my god. That's stupidly, stupidly fast. If I'm not wrong, there is an area here that there is a recipe. Which should be close to that place we were now. Or is on the tree on the other side. Let me try to check. Here. There. <coughs> I don't know what recipe it is. <coughs> Fire damage, whatever. Yeah, it's because of this guy here. Okay. Uh, so let's go back. I think I saw a door there. No. This is crazy. And I think we haven't dropped a single fucking chaos orb so far. Holy moly. Unlucky. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, another thing you start doing now, uh, I think 
usually when we get close, to, uh, when we get in maps and we start stacking some things, like a lot of scrolls of wisdom, and we have a decent quantity of portals, I change the aspect of the portal, and I just get portals enough to have like over 20 with me. And then whenever I'm running out, I start grabbing some more. If you want, and it's more efficient, but it's a little, uh, there's a little bit of micromanagement. It's you gotta, you gotta do this on the filter. You have like two filters, one with portals and one without. Uh, but there is a point uh, that you start getting so many of those uh, things. I forgot the name. Jesus Christ! Yeah, these babies here do a lot of kills damage. I didn't want to kill them because I wanted to kill them during delirium, so it counts toward our moving. Alva is amazing for uh, delirium because it stops. We have a little grace period here. We can press Z and analyze. What I always want to do is uh, I want to increase the area. Uh, and after I show you, I can show you this on the next one. Okay, Jesus Christ, that's that's laggy. Okay. Okay. So you can see 17, 16 seconds. Yeah. We killed there. So everything else we kill here is just to get more uh well to get this ton of this ton of passage to be open in the areas. I will try to pause the video and show you what's happening here. Da -da -da -da. Okay, that's enough for the video. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to do this. And I think I have one more. Yeah. You can always get up to two stones on an area to make two openings. When you killed everything, you just go out. And then it drops a lot of, a lot of things. We wanted this, we wanted this, but we don't want to take too long grabbing items here. So, augmentation. And move, baby! The tough part of us getting uh, on this map is that uh, shit. This chaos damage hurts, and we have so little life for this level. It's kind of uncanny. We should have more, and we have no official defensive layer from our uh, ascendancy, so. We're gonna get there. Okay. Now here, this is the change. Contains a chest full of gems, and this is increased the monsters full of gems. No, let's go to the right. So what it means is, you can see there, there is the boss. So I want to get to the boss and I want to kill it. Uh, he was doing the lyrium, so he does a little more things, and he's a everything here is a little stronger. After we killed that one. This area of the temple is going to be upgraded to, if it is level 0, it's going to be both level 1, then level 2, and then level 3. And this increases the, the quality of the things we get from it. Shrine of Empowerment. Uh, okay, I'm going to open this one. There is a logic behind it, uh, which after you, you, you take a look at the, the pyramid with... Uh, with some time, with some patience, it, it, it makes sense why I opened that one. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna be the same duration. Rogue's Marker, Arb of Chance, Compound Shield, not bad. Arb of Alchemy. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> uh, opening a portal should pause delirium, but you know, bugs sometimes happens. Uh, Alina? Yeah, we're, uh, because of the quest, we want to get the same amulet, okay? This is the amulet we want, strength and dexterity, or pure strength, but we do need some dex. I think we're not going to need dex now, if, yeah, because we already got this point here. And this is already like one, two, three, four, five, six, that's already 60 dex. So yeah, we are at 150, I think that's more than we need. Uh, so we want to do this one here. 
gonna do this way. Mm, sell items, thank you. Mm. Uh, this is the chromatic recipe, I don't know if I have said, but whatever is, if it is identified or not, it's gonna sell for a chromatic. Okay, we have a we have a good one. 80 life, 30 res, 30 res, open prefix. That's T1 life. This is our end game gloves before. There is an open suffix! Oh yes, because it's a hybrid evasion and a stun block recovery. This is our end game gloves. That's it. We we drop it our end game gloves. <laughs> we just have to far socket that. Holy moly! Wow, in a decent base as well. I don't even want to check this one's now. Uh, Jesus Christ. this way wow oh damn it's not this way I think it's that way large cluster jewel Ooh, I read kills damage I read chaos damage. That's too low level for us to, I think, use the max potential of it. But we can do some upgrades there. anymore Jabeta breath two stone two stone two stone Jade Millet mm. and our exit was is here okay now the vol city is something a little difficult to to read. I mean, I know it's easy to read. I don't know how to read. I've never really taken the time to to learn how to read. Uh, Carvarosco has some very nice videos. I hope I remember to put his. I think one of the SS Dream builds I've placed is his down in the description, uh, and he explains exactly how to read this one, especially if you get to this one here. Which is as you walk out of the portal, uh, out, the, out of the door, uh, it is this cliff. So you, I think if you go left, and then when you, it turns like this, you go this way. And now I'm not sure if you should go all the way up, or you should immediately check this one. Jesus Christ, so many creatures! And where? There, you die there. Because it was not... I just want to check this part here. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's there. I think I should have gone that way. Yeah. No. No, no, it's not here. No. Okay. No. 
I saw the, the webs and I thought it was here. It can't be there, right? Eh? I do think it's at the end here when you do this. They seem to be attacking a little faster than usual, I don't know what's that about. Well. My gut feeling was, I was right, should I have gone there. So that's why you need the fire bugs to open this door here, so we get them before, because otherwise we would have to explore, and this is literally the end of act, we just have to go all the way down, uh, and it's like, I don't know, five different levels of pyramid now. Uh, and this one, I think, uh, I've heard that it's very easy to read, I don't know, but it, in my opinion, I always read it correctly, I never have troubles finding the exit. And these contracts are rare, which help us a lot. But um, uh, I don't know what they have changed in the last patches. But in the first patches of Heist, you didn't need to, to even roll them. You could run them white. It would be like rewarding enough. However, I think there was no need, and I didn't experiment doing this. There was no need for you to try uh, like scouring them to run them white, which was the case in some leaks with some things. Buy blight plate. Oh no, oh no. I don't think it should be this way, I think it should be that way. But I kinda ran this way now I'm like, eh, I'm here, you know. Yeah. Because if it were here, I would have seen when I walked it this way. And it would have confused me. Yeah. Ah, okay. So closer to where I was than I expected. So this is the second level. So if I'm wrong, we did like we entered and then we went down. So one, two, this three, then we go down four, then we have to walk all the way through five to get to the boss, and the act is finished. Uh, here, same thing. I literally get one of the. One of the doorways that uh, like is closest to me, or there is a gate like this, a bridge, I mean, and I go with it. So, and I always try leaping these gaps here. Uh, you know, it works for me. I continue on going. If I reach the end, like here, then I I try going to one of the sides. Let's say I go out. I think my window is bumping. Being blown by the wind, it's like hitting the the wall. Uh, here, I think I would go this way. Uh, there. Oh my eye. Okay. Okay. 
Accuracy? Yeah. I think I've never ever found a oh, side area here. Well, let's go. Righteous fire. Ah, of course. I think it gives us more spell damage as it levels up. I'm not really sure about that one. I'm gonna remove this from here, or uh, or I will die. Yes, look, 16% more spell damage on level two. So I know it's a good boost, uh, and I didn't think it was. Ooh, I'm very lucky. And here is our boss. This is an important boss to notify. It's quite easy. Should just appear here. We're gonna cast our thing, which is not contagion, and that's it. Dash away from this. She's gonna kill Silk. Yeah, Silk, you were too naive, Silk. I'm sorry. You didn't see that coming, babe. So, Bane, cast Essence String and Light, pop up the flasks, and she's dead. Open. I think this would still kill us. We can stay here to get uh, nothing. And usually don't. So people, that's it for Act Three, Act Seven. Now we're gonna go into Act Eight, uh, which is also quite a fast one. There is just two long parts in it. Uh, it we are good to go. Uh, however, we have to ascend. I don't want to ascend again right now i kind of want to get level uh, level 60 to ascend but we don't have to wait for that okay uh there is this little thing here and we're gonna be doing that now okay so people peace <laughs>